What's up everyone and welcome to part 2 of our ThinkPad eGPU build. So in the previous video we looked at all the hardware and kind of showed you what I chose as my setup. Well in this one we're going to hook everything up. So we've got the power supply powering our GPU which is hooked up externally through the express port on our T420S and we've got it working. So as you can see we're detecting the graphics card and yeah so we've got the NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti hooked up and working so we'll go over all the connections how to power it on and all that stuff then we'll look at the driver installation and then I'm going to do some simple benchmarks just using some games to look at before and after performance so let's get started let's begin with a quick recap of the hardware so the laptop we're using is the Lenovo T420s the GPU is a Zotac GTX 1050 Ti. The power supply is just some cheap uh, 520 watt power supply. I bought a new one, but you can probably get one used for cheaper. But I had a gift card to Best Buy, so I just got this thing. It was $32, so no big deal. And then the connector is this um, PCIe 16 lane connector that comes with this um, Express card to HDMI connector and then it also comes with this cable which we're going to use to connect our power supply to power our GPU. So that's the hardware. Now let's get into how we're going to plug everything in. So the power supply we're just going to use one of these standard cables plug in the AC connection and then this cable is just going to go to the wall but for now I'm going to leave it unplugged just so there's no power going to the system but this power supply doesn't have a switch, so once we have everything plugged in, we power on our computer, it's just going to turn this uh, power supply on. So I'm just going to leave this not plugged into the wall for now. So you can see our power supply comes with a ton of cable bundles, and we're only going to really need two. So the one we're going to need is this 24-pin connector, which is like your main CPU power connector. And then we're going to need one of these 4-pin I think it's this one these four pin PCIe connectors so we're gonna take the connector that we got with the kit and we're just gonna plug it in so you'll see that there's this little tab right there and then there's a little and maybe you can't see it but there's a little tab on the top so that's how you can tell how to orient it and then you can see it plugs right in it's just one line just one um, wire coming from this 24 pin connector and then this end is going to go into the GPU. So it just goes just like that, right into the base. Now we need to plug this thing in. So I think it was this one. Um, yeah, that seems to work. So it's just one of these four pin connector cables. Just plug it in and then now our GPU is all hooked up. Next thing we're going to do is plug in our express card into our laptop and then just plug the HDMI cable into our connector base. So for this, what we need to do is pop out the express card slot on our laptop. So again, you just need to, you just push in and it pops out. But one thing to keep aware of with um, the T420S, there's this little, see that little screw hole right there? Well, the way it came, there was actually a screw in there, so it screws into the motherboard, so it's holding this card in, so you can't remove it. So you actually need to take the keyboard out and then remove that screw, otherwise this thing's not gonna come out. I actually was trying to force it out and I quickly realized that it's not gonna come out, so. I opened it up, took the keyboard off, got the got that screw out. I'll show a picture of it um, just so you can see what it looks like. But you basically, to take the keyboard off, there's a bunch of screws on the back. Just start unscrewing um, the screws. Take the battery out. There's some screws under there. And then you can sort of, you can sort of pop open this, um, like this rest area, this edge part and it sort of comes out and then there's these little tabs under the keyboard so you just take like a um, like a pry thing like a, a screwdriver or something like that and you just need to pop these little tabs there's 
tab here, 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 and then the whole thing will just kind of pop out. And then you can get to the screw. It's like right, right around here somewhere. Just remove that screw and then you're good. So now that we've got this guy out of our laptop, we can plug our um, express card in. So it's pretty simple. You just, you know, just press it in and then it's in. If you need to take it out, just kind of press, just press on the side and it'll kind of pop out. So be careful not to damage it, but once that's in, we're good. I'm just gonna pop this back onto the dock. And then all we need to do is plug this in through the HDMI port right here. So now we're all set up and that's it. So now what I'm gonna do is just power on the laptop and show you everything working. So I went ahead and plugged in the power supply. So now it's plugged into the wall and everything's hooked up so it should work. So I'm gonna go ahead and power on the laptop. We see the GPU start spinning. You probably heard the power supply cause that thing's super loud. But yeah, you can tell everything's working cause well, at least it's powering on because we can see the GPU fan spinning and hear the power supply going. So now we're just gonna boot up into Ubuntu and take a look at the hardware. All right, we're into the Ubuntu desktop and just to show you that we're running it, I'm just gonna pull up a NeoFetch window. So let me try and make this. Let me make this as big as we can. And maybe a little bit smaller, but you can see right here that the you can see that the GPU detected is the NVIDIA. 1050 Ti, so GTX 1050 Ti. So yeah, it's working and honestly right out of the box, like plugging everything in, it detected the GPU and I was able to plug in an external monitor. So it looked like everything was working, like the driver, whatever driver that it started with, it recognized it and everything was working. But now what I'm gonna do is just show you how you can update the Nvidia driver so you're on like the most recent one. And just a side note, I've noticed other people who've had compatibility issues using a, a ThinkPad and one of these Express cards with an external GPU, but I'm not sure why they had problems with it. Like, and they said the people who do get it working, they had to use old drivers. For me, I didn't have any problem. I'm using um, the 390 driver, which is a pretty current one. Um, a lot of people reported they had to go back to like 370, 372, something like that. With me, I didn't have any problems, so not sure what they were doing. Maybe it's just Ubuntu is works better with this, but yeah, I'm. This was virtually like problem free, no problems at all. So I'm just going to show you quickly how we can um, how you can upgrade the driver. So I found this website that walks you through the steps to install the NVIDIA drivers on Ubuntu, and it's pretty straightforward. So I'll add a link in the description so you can have these instructions. But basically, we're going to be installing a PPA package. So PPA are proprietary packages, and sometimes you need to be wary of these. But in this case, it's coming from NVIDIA, so we can we can trust it. I've installed it; it works. But just a fair warning in the future: always check these PPA packages to make sure they're okay. But anyways, we're going to be installing them. So to do that. You're just going to open up a terminal and run these commands, sudo add-app-repository, ppa, and then graphics-drivers slash ppa. So that will install the proprietary GPU drivers. Then you just run sudo apt update. And then finally, we need to select which driver we want. So when you run this command, it should there should be a line that says which is the most current driver at the time. So when I ran this, I saw that it said 390 is the most recent one. So what I did next was run sudo 
apt install NVIDIA dash 390. So you can check by um, checking the output of this thing, or you can go to NVIDIA, search for drivers, and just look for the most recent driver for your GPU. And then once you know that, you just add that number here. Then you're probably just gonna need to reboot and you should be all good. So, and then it talks about how you can remove drivers if needed, but that's really all we need to do to update our or install our NVIDIA drivers. So I've already installed the drivers on the ThinkPad. And now what I wanna do is show you some frame rate comparisons with and without the GPU, just using some simple games. So now I'll pop back over to the ThinkPad and show you the kind of frame rates we're getting with and without the GPU. So here we are back on the Ubuntu desktop and I've gone ahead and unplugged the GPU and you can tell because we're only reporting the Intel integrated graphics as our GPU. So now what I wanna do is just play a simple game and show you what kind of frame rates we get with the Intel graphics. So I'm just gonna pull up a Steam game that I got for free called Shooty Skies. So this probably isn't the best benchmark for games, but whatever. Um, it's free, I didn't wanna pay for anything. So just to show you the video options, we're at the full resolution of our screen. And I turned up the anti-aliasing V-Sync is on, probably doesn't matter. But anyways, um, yeah, that's the settings. So let's go ahead and play. And you can see the frame rate right up there. So you can see I'm getting like 50 to 40 frames per second right now. So this is just a basic shooting game. Um, kind of like some anime stuff going on here. But the main thing is we're getting like about 50 frames per second, which isn't too bad. You know, that's playable. Um, probably would would not be good if we were playing on a 1080p screen. But um, yeah, so that's gonna be our benchmark. We should probably use a better game, but whatever. So now let's switch over to the GTX 1050 Ti, see what kind of performance we're getting with that. All right, we're back and we've got the GPU plugged in and you can tell because you can see here, we're reporting the GTX 1050 Ti. Now what I'm gonna do is play that same game, show you what kind of frame rate we're getting. And just a note, I went back and looked at the video and the video might look like it's not running at uh, 50 frames per second. And that's because OBS just can't record my screen faster than like 12 to 15 frames per second. Um, next time maybe I'll just get a camera and shine it on the, uh, on the screen. But for now, uh, I'm gonna try and screen capture it, but note that it's only going to be recording at 15 frames per second. So we're pulling up the same game now, and already you can see we're reporting over 600 frames per second, uh, 145. Yeah, so it's looks pretty stable at like 290 or so. So let's go ahead and play. So it looks smooth to me. Um, it probably looks choppy because again, OBS just it, it's not recording fast enough. It's the CPU. It's um, set to the software setting. I tried switching it to the hardware setting to to encode the video, but um, it's it's not going fast enough. Um, so yeah, the best I can record at is like 15 frames per second. But you can see we're playing at like 300, and to me it, it looks smooth. Um, oops, yeah, I died. But anyways, the screen does look smooth when I'm watching it myself. I know you can't tell, but it does look pretty good. So there you go. You can see we're definitely getting a huge boost in frame rate with the GPU installed. So as you can see, we're definitely getting a performance boost using our GPU. We went from like 50 frames per second using the CPU up to like 300 frames per second using the GPU. And I know that's a very crude benchmark just using some game I found on Steam, but the key thing is we're showing that there is an improvement. I'm not really concerned about the exact uh, percentage that we're gaining, but we're definitely seeing a significant improvement. And there are some bottlenecks by going with this route. Obviously the express card is not gonna have the same bandwidth as compared to like a 16 lane uh, PCIe slot on a motherboard. 
um, and we're using Express Card 2.0. So um, the amount of data that we're running back and forth across that line just is is probably bottlenecking the system, um, especially when I tried plugging in the GPU into my 4K monitor. Um, it works, I can display the desktop in 4K, but if I tried to say, display an, a YouTube video at 4K resolution, it just comes to a crawl like one, two frames per second, um, which seems odd because I've had a, um, I used to have a 950 in my desktop and I could play 4K video no problem with it. So I'm guessing it has to do with the express card interface. Um, Cause this, this GPU should be able to display 4K movie no problem. Maybe I'll test it by throwing it in my desktop just to for a sanity check. But anyways, that's the um, the crude test, um, just to show you that we're getting the performance benefits. It might be better if I were to plug this thing into a uh, 1080p monitor, instead of having to push the pixels back and forth across the um, across this um, cable, we could just go use another um, HDMI or display port to a 1080p monitor, and the gaming might look a little better on that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a 1080p monitor, and I tried using the 4K monitor, and it's just overkill. It's too much for this thing to handle, but that's one thing. Um, if you are into gaming, you might want to use an external monitor. I think you'll get some performance benefits by doing that. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and install TensorFlow, and we're going to do some benchmarks with that. So I'm thinking... Maybe we'll install YOLO or Pose Estimation, see what kind of frame rates we're getting with our graphics card. So stay tuned for the next one. If you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments below or use the Facebook group. And if you like the video, leave it a like. Um, if you like this content, hit the subscribe button. And if you disliked it for any reason, um, you know, let me know, see what, um, see what I can do to improve. I know it's kind of crude. My camera setup and everything but um yeah we're going for a budget build so nothing too fancy here but anyways thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one peace